Hey guys, I'm Emma Missioner with another video. Today I'm doing analysis of Amphibia Season 3, Episode 6, Mr. X and Sprague's Birthday. I just want to say that there are many references in this episode that I don't want to mention throughout the video, so I want to do it now. Some of them include, I think, Monsters, Inc., kind of Starburst Force Evil, or I thought so with the birthday guy in the car, Sonic, I think Spider-Man, and of course E.T. And there are way more, but I'm not going to go through all of them now. Anyway, now that I have that out of the way, let's get to the analysis. It starts out with the FBI hiding, hiding out in an ice cream truck with Mr. X, an extraterrestrial hunter. He is spying on Anne with cameras when he gets hungry. He decides to go to the nearest restaurant, which just has to be the Boonjoy's restaurant. And we switch over to Ty Gell, where Mr. and Mrs. Boonjoy are feeling more pumped and vicious from the robot, like Sprig in the first episode. Mr. Boonjoy even brings back the old pull-up bar. Yeah, he's a little rusty. Anyway, Anne and the planters go to the movies to watch Suspicion Island 2. So luckily, when Mr. X get there, Mr. X gets there, Anne and the planters are gone. He asks about them, though, not suspecting anything, just asking. She obviously says no, but then Mr. X's other worker, Jenny, finds them with the computer and Mr. X leaves. The Boon Choice follow after and try to warn Anne, but she couldn't hear her phone with the volume from the movie, even though her phone should have been on silent anyway. Anyway, the Boon Choice try to block the FBI on the road, but fail. Afterwards, Anne and the Planters finish their movie and see Mrs. Boone Joy's text. They're locked inside, being chased by Mr. X, while the Boone Joy parents have a plan on the outside to free Anne and the Planters. After a little chase scene, Anne and the Planters hide in the bathroom, while the FBI have a big group show up. Mr. and Mrs. Boone Joy activate their plan turning off the lights and escaping through the air vents, and putting wheel frogs where Anne and the planters were so they would all think Mr. X is crazy. It doesn't discourage Mr. X, though, and I know we'll see more of him. Then Mr. and Mrs. Spoonjoy explain how they helped with stalling, getting real frogs, and how they can help Anne with everything that's going on in the future. And Anne realizes she shouldn't have told her parents to stay out. The next episode, Sprig's birthday, starts with Sprig getting a mud crown and Anne learning how they celebrate an amphibia by reflecting. Sprig takes a surprisingly short amount of thinking time saying what he has gone through, especially that year. Anyway, he's turning 11 and Anne didn't know, so she decides to go all out, including going on a roller coaster, going to the Hollywood sign, and going to an observer observatory where Anne secretly got Sprig a present. But Sprig still said it was his third favorite birthday, so Anne decides to take him on a hot air balloon ride. But it's closed due to wind. Anne decides to do something irresponsible though and take a ride anyway. So after a ride that changed people's lives forever, Anne and Sprig crash. Anne still feels bad about Sprig's birthday, but he explains his first two favorite birthdays his first birthday when he was born, which doesn't make sense because you don't remember it. And what's fun about a birthday you had no friends for and you don't remember? Anyway, his second favorite is when he got his hat, which is a pretty sick hat. Anyway, she feels better about it and gives him his present. An engraved telescope, which he loved. Also, that telescope was engraved fast. It also must have cost a lot of money, so I'm glad he enjoyed it. Anyway, that was Season 3, Episode 6, Mr. Erickson's Big Birthday Analysis. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you want to watch again. And bye!